O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Welcome to St. Michael and the Angels for the service of morning prayer out of the Book of Common Prayer. I hope these familiar words and prayers and scripture that we will say together will be of some guidance and comfort for you today. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the earth, and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, and he made it, and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. O come, let us adore him. Alleluia. Our psalm this morning is psalm number, excuse me, 73 verses 21 to 28. Thus my heart was grieved, and it went even through my reins. So foolish was I and ignorant, even as it were a beast before thee. Nevertheless, I am always by thee, for thou hast holden me by thy right hand. Thou shalt guide me with thy counsel, and after that receive me with glory. Whom have I in heaven but thee? And there is none upon earth that I desire in comparison of thee. My flesh and my heart faileth, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion for ever. For lo, they that forsake thee shall perish. Thou hast destroyed all them that commit fornication against thee. But it is good for me to hold me fast by God, to put my trust in the Lord God and to speak of all thy works in the gates of the daughter of Sion. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. O come, let us adore him. Alleluia. First reading this morning comes from the book of Job. Chapter 14, beginning at the first verse. A mortal born of woman, few of days and full of trouble, comes up like a flower and withers, flees like a shadow, and does not last. For there is hope for a tree, if it is cut down, that it will sprout again, that its roots will not cease. Though its root grows old in the earth and its stump dies in the ground, yet at the scent of water it will bud and put forth branches like a young plant. But mortals die and are laid low. Humans expire and where are they? As waters fail from a lake and a river wastes away and dries up, so mortals lie down and do not rise again until the heavens are no more. They will not awake or be roused out of their sleep. Oh, that you would hide me in Sheol, that you would conceal me until your wrath is past, that you would appoint me at a set time and remember me. If mortals die, will they live again? All the days of my service I would wait until my release should come. You would call and I would answer you. You would long for the work of your hands. Go to uh, chapter 19. Excuse me, it's a bit complicated this morning.
Oh, that my words were written down. Oh, that they were inscribed in a book. Oh, that with an iron pen and with lead they were engraved on a rock forever. For I know that my Redeemer lives, and that at the last he will stand upon the earth. And after my skin has been thus destroyed, then in my flesh I shall see God, whom I shall see on my side, and my eyes shall behold, and not another. Here endeth the first lesson. We praise thee, O God, we acknowledge thee to be Lord. All the earth doth worship thee, the Father everlasting. To thee all angels cry aloud, the heavens and all the powers therein. To thee cherubim and seraphim continually do cry. Holy, 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 Lord God of Sabbath, heaven and earth are full of the majesty of thy glory. The glorious company of the apostles praise thee. The goodly fellowship of the prophets praise thee. The noble army of martyrs praise thee. The Holy Church throughout all the world does acknowledge thee. The Father of an infinite majesty, thine honourable, true and only Son, also the Holy Ghost, the Comforter. Thou art the King of glory, O Christ. Thou art the everlasting Son of the Father. When thou tookest upon thee to deliver man, thou didst not abhor the virgin's womb. When thou hadst overcome the sharpness of death, Thou didst open the kingdom of heaven unto all believers. Thou sittest at the right hand of God in the glory of the Father. We believe that you shall come to be our judge. We therefore pray thee, help thy servants, whom thou hast redeemed with thy precious blood. Make them to be numbered with all thy saints in glory everlasting. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine heritage. Govern them and lift them up forever. Day by day we magnify thee, and we worship thy name, ever world without end. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. O Lord, let thy mercy lighten upon us, as our trust is in thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted, let me never be confounded. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever, world without end. Amen. The second reading comes from the letter of Paul, the first letter of Paul to the Thessalonians, chapter 4, beginning at the 13th verse. But we do not want you to be uninformed, brothers and sisters, about those who have died, so that you may not grieve as others do who have no hope. For since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so through Jesus God will bring with him those who have died. For this we declare to you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will by no means precede those who have died. For the Lord himself, with a cry of command, with the archangel's call, and with the sound of God's trumpet, will descend from heaven, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up in the clouds together with them, to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will be with the Lord forever. Therefore, encourage one another with these words. Here endeth the second lesson. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people, and hath redeemed up a mighty salvation for us in the house of his servant David. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our forefathers and to remember his holy covenant to perform the oath which we swore to our full father Abraham that he would give us, that we, being delivered out of the hand of our enemies, might serve him without fear, in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. And thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest, 
for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people for the remission of their sins. Through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high hath visited us, to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the King and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that ruleth the world, but only thou, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. Let us pray. God, who speaks in silence, help us wait in quietness. When you seem absent, grant us the faith that knows you are there, bringing to fulfilment all you have started. Through Jesus Christ, our liberator, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. O God, who art the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom. Defend us, thy humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in thy defence, may not fear the power of any adversaries, through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, Almighty and everlasting God, who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day. Defend us in the same with thy mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by thy governance, to do always that is righteous in thy sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining us here at St Michael and Andrews for the service of Common Prayer out of the morning prayer out of the Book of Common Prayer. I hope that it has been of some help for you today. I'm hunting for this last bit which they don't have on this page. I'm, I'm trying to work this out, but hunting for the last prayer, and there it is. Please join us again at ten o'clock for a solemn Mass, which will be live streamed from the church uh, Mass. This means communion, it's the choir, it's the whole kit and caboodle. Um, it's only going to be 10 of us there because we've got this limitation on how many people can be at church, but we've got a serving team, so it's going to be bells, smells, and singing. Absolutely wonderful. So please do join us at 10 o'clock. Let us pray. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, 
and dost promise that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants, as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come life everlasting. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost, be with us all evermore. Amen.